babes, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm taking you through a full day of eating and I'm just gonna show you all my meals. I eat, um, right now I am intuitive eating. I'm not tracking macros. I still eat about five to six meals a day intuitively eating. Um, I, I'm still very disciplined with my, with my eating. I don't snack in between meals. I still um, eat every two to three hours. I still have a healthy carb, protein, and fat. Per, per meal, so I still have structure and I still have a lot of discipline in my diet, and that's what macros teach you, teaches you. So, like I've said in my other videos, I recommend you, please don't think just because I'm intuitive eating that that's what you should do, because if you're just starting out on this journey, you need to be tracking macros for at least six months to a year, probably a year, to have that concept of calories and to be able to have the discipline of not eating all the time, not snacking in between meals, and getting in your five to six meals that you need in a day. So this is what I do, and I have, I counted macros for over three years, so I, I have a great concept of calories. I know exactly what my body needs. I know portion sizes, so so that is really what you need. It, you kind of have to earn intuitive eating, you know, through counting macros and through learning that discipline and, and, get, and gaining that knowledge. If you guys have watched my other full day of eatings, you'll see that I do um, keep it a little bit cleaner. I don't like to eat as much meat. I try, I try and aim for meat no more than twice a day and if not at all. So today I will have probably a little bit of meat in my diet, but not a lot. Um, I just choose to not have a lot of meat in my diet for health reasons. Uh, I, I just feel better when I don't eat a lot of meat and meat really tends to bloat me. So I just try and keep it to a minimum. And the foods that you see me consume are what make me feel good and look good. I bloat very easily and so I have to really be careful with what I put into my body. So um, know that you're not gonna see a lot of sugar, you're not gonna see or any sugar except for fruit maybe if you just want to eat junk this is not the channel for you this is my meals are going to show you what what you need to do to fuel your body properly you know what i mean so let's get started all right so i already had my shake but here is what i put in my shake i have had this in other videos before but this is a uh, daily ritual this is what i do every morning collagen beetroot greens cashew milk apple cider vinegar down it health all right so Every morning I have my shake I just showed you, and then I have oats. So I'm gonna have about 40 grams of oats, one tablespoon of peanut butter, I put one stevia in there, and just a few berries. Oh, and just because I'm not counting macros, doesn't mean I don't weigh things out. I still weigh things out. Like I said, I'm still disciplined. I still have structure. Um, so I did one tablespoon of this, weighed it out. It was about 16 grams. And yes, I do know portion sizes, but at the same time, um, I need to know exact measurements, things like my oats, things like my peanut butter, stuff like that. Hold on, I gotta get this. So I got a phone call and I didn't show you guys that was my meal. That's my oatmeal. All right, so I this is my pre-workout meal. I'm gonna go work out now, and I will show you guys what my post-workout meal is gonna be when I get home. Honestly, you guys, once you start viewing food as fuel, and you don't look at it as a reward, we aren't dogs. Like, why are we rewarding ourselves with food all the time? If, you, if you've worked hard for a whole month, and you've worked at your body, and, and why would you wanna go reward yourself with food so you're gonna mess everything up? Like. Reward yourself with a cute pair of workout pants or a pair of goal pants that you want to fit into or uh, something of that nature. Don't don't reward yourself with food. Food is not a reward. You have to view food as fuel. It's necessary, it's something your body needs and your body will thrive off the right foods. You put shit food into your body and you're just gonna have shit results, honestly, and you're gonna have shit energy and you're not gonna feel very good and it's gonna lead to, it's gonna cause a lot of problems down the road for you. So my best suggestion is to start changing your habits now. Start reformulating your thoughts to, to only view food as fuel and, and that it's your life source. It's what you put in your body determines your health down the road, determines how long you're going to live, determines how good you're going to feel down the road. All right guys, so I'm about to go get my workout in. You guys know I'm not big on supplements, but I do take, at times, L-carnitine. Um, Google the benefits of L-carnitine, and I take it with carbs a couple times a day. And I like this, this is a Muscle Farm brand. I've tried other brands too, but this one just is my favorite. I like the taste of it. 
I don't even really know if this shit works, you guys. I have no idea. But maybe it's placebo, maybe it works. I don't know. But I feel like it makes me leaner. I don't know. But that's really the only uh, supplement that I take. I really, I don't even take BCAs anymore. I don't, I don't take anything except for this sometimes. So this is what I do take every day. I take adrenal health because I uh, was, am and was battling adrenal fatigue. It has gotten significantly better, but I'm still taking those. I take these uh, caffeine-free energy pills. Um, this has like a lot of different vitamins in it. Normally I take these, but since I'm taking these right now, this has vitamin B in it, so I don't want to overdo it on the vitamin B. I will resume these when I'm done with these. Do I think that these give me uh, more energy? Probably not, I don't know. I take out glutamine, and that was supposed to help with my adrenal fatigue also. I take spirulina twice a day. Here is my iron, and I take that because I don't consume a lot of meat. I take L-lysine twice, once a day, two pills for my acne, and biotin for my hair and my skin. So that is what I do take every day. Um, yeah, not big on the, uh, on like the supplements. I, I don't drink protein powder, to be honest, what is the protein? I do drink this protein powder, which is the bone broth. Bone broth protein. I found this at Whole Foods. Um, it's got turmeric in it also, which is really good for inflammation. Google the benefits. But I do drink that protein powder sometimes when I need uh, extra protein. But other than that, sometimes I drink egg whites, uh, eat eggs, eat egg whites. Um, that's how I get my protein in. I do not like protein shakes and I only like my clients to have one protein shake a day or none because honestly they are just filled with chemicals and who knows if we're even getting that much protein that it even says is in it. So in my opinion I would rather drink egg whites that I know is just pure protein and I know what I'm getting instead of putting chemicals in my body. You know what I mean? And Protein shakes make me feel like I'm like four months bloated. They make me look like I'm four months bloated and I don't experience that bloat when I drink egg whites. So I prefer egg whites to get my protein in over protein shakes. No chemicals, no bloating, a win. Take my women's probiotic every single day also. Along with, I drink aloe vera a couple times a day. And this is good for your digestive health, for your tummy. What's up guys? Okay, I just finished my workout. I'm going to get a post-workout meal right now. I was gonna go home and, and make a meal and show you guys, but I'm really, really hungry and I'm kind of in a hurry. So I'm gonna go uh, get an omelet at this restaurant that I really like nearby and I will show you guys how I order, what my food looks like after I get it. I will show you guys what I order, how I order, because like I said in my last video, you've got to form these new habits. You've got to bug the waitress. Who cares if you're bugging the waitress? You have to be kind of annoying sometimes to meet your goals. So I'm going to show you how I order with zero fucks given. And I will show you what you have to do and what you have to alter to meet your goals. And this is just a lifestyle for me now. I go, I do this at every restaurant I go to. I annoy everyone. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do the veggie omelet, please. The veggie omelet. Okay. And then I'm gonna get no cheese in that and no sour cream. Okay. And then, can I get the potatoes? Or can I have them cooked away? Yep. And then I'm gonna get a sour cream. For root. And keep in mind, I'm trying to put on muscle right now. So that's why I'm going to eat all the potatoes and the fruit. And there's my pretty omelet. Okay, so for meal three, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna bake some asparagus along with my salmon, and then I'm also going to bake a sweet potato. And that's it, I'm going pretty bro for this meal, but this is how I like to feel my body, and it's delicious.
so I am going to wait until the oven is at 400 degrees. Then once that, once it's done preheating, then I will throw the sweet potato in the oven for 45 minutes altogether. But I will only put the salmon in there for 30 minutes. And these for the last 10 minutes. I'm also gonna have one of these kombucha, kombucha, however you say it, one of these drinks. I've been getting these from Whole Foods and they are so delish, you guys. They do have carbs in them, so make sure if you're tracking macros to put them in your macros. But uh, the Power Greens is really, really good. The maca berry is pretty good. And uh, I haven't tried this one yet. I'm gonna try it right now. Now I am adding the salmon. I cooked this for 15 minutes. The, the sweet potato and now I'm adding the salmon for 30 about 25 to 30 more minutes I will probably set the timer for 20 minutes and then add the asparagus and cook it for 10 more minutes That is the plan people that is the plan. This is I use either coconut oil cooking spray All right, so back in the oven this goes for another 20 minutes minutes at 400 my sweet potato was still not ready so I just wrapped it in saran wrap and I'm gonna microwave it for like four or five more minutes and then I will eat there we are this is meal three I'm a little behind on my meals today you guys it's 427 so I am a bit behind I'm still gonna try and get in five meals today at least so I will probably have my last meal late tonight but if you guys have not had peanut butter on top of your sweet potato you have not lived Try it out. All right, y'all, this is a real lazy uh, full day of eating today. I apologize, but this is my life and this is what I'm eating, so here we go. So this is my fourth meal. I am eating a little bit late, it's 7 p.m. Um, I still have one more meal after this and yeah, I will show you guys what that is going to be. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to eat this. So this is grilled lemon and herb chicken from the cold section at Whole Foods. It's already made. It's it's fast, it's easy, and it's actually really delicious. And this is just a spinach salad with strawberries and homemade um, dressing. And there's also cheese in there. I'm not gonna eat the cheese. And there's also, I think that's pine nuts or something. So I'll put a little bit of those on there, not much. And that'll be my dinner, I'll show you. Look how good those are. And I just cut them up and I keep them and I leave them cold and put them on top of the salad and it's delicious. Here is the dressing. This dressing is actually made with raspberry vinegar, expelled pressed uh, non-GMO canola oil, which I don't love, I don't like any canola oil. Um, olive oil, orange juice, sea salt, black pepper. So it's pretty natural, there's not a bunch of shit in it, you know? Just gonna put it on top of there. There we go, that is dinner, you guys. And I did have, I did have a lot of carbs for my first three meals, so I'm just going a little bit easier on the carbs for right now, and then I'll have a little bit more carbs in my next meal. What's up guys? Okay, so it's the next day. I completely, I went to bed. I ended up not filming what I was gonna film for you guys for my last meal. Um, I was a little bit short on my meals yesterday, so um, today it's Thursday, so I'm just gonna film for you what I was gonna make last night, which was turkey meatballs with butternut squash noodles. It was supposed to be my dinner last night, so I'm just gonna have it as lunch today, and I will show you guys how to make it. So I will be using 93% lean ground turkey, um, along with, I'm gonna use an onion, one egg. Actually, I may use two eggs because I'm gonna do both packs. Um, and then celery, I'm gonna chop the celery and the onion up and I'm gonna put it into my Vitamix, blend it up a little bit and then add it. Then I'm going to pan saute these uh, butternut squash noodles and that will be like my noodles for the pasta. And then I will be adding in this Italian herb pasta sauce and along with some cilantro. I'm gonna actually put the cilantro inside the meatballs.
gosh, you guys, this is so good. Especially these uh these butternut squash noodles are bomb. Um, thank you for watching my video. Sorry it was kind of all over the place, but I appreciate your support. Please like this video, and if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Find me on Snapchat at KTS Fit and Instagram at KTS Fit, and share this video. Thanks, guys. Talk to you next time.